This video is going to be about my Shopify abandoned cart email template. I'm going to walk through how to set up your recovery email and show you my template and then you guys can use this if you choose to on your own store. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've been doing Shopify now since 2019, well I guess e-com since 2019 and in the past my recovery rate was probably around 3 or 5% with email and now ever since I've you know changed this over the last one or two years I've been making an adjustment to optimize it it's been consistently converting at between 17 and like 26 percent with email and this is gonna be a one of two part series the next one is gonna be about text recovery emails so stay tuned for that so to get to your Shopify checkout email um, recovery section you're gonna to go to your home page and then go to settings and click on it once you click on the settings, it's going to take you to this page and for the sake of privacy and protecting my store and all my information, all this stuff is blurred out over here. But on the left side of your screen, after you click settings on the home page, it takes you to this page and on the left side, you click on checkout. Once you click on checkout, you're going to be taken to a page like this and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page until you see the abandoned scar checkout section. You can control F on your computer and find it as well. So this is what the abandoned checkout email section look like, and this is the settings that I have turned on for my store specifically. So I send abandoned card, um, I send abandoned checkout emails automatically. I send them to anyone who abandoned their checkout, and I send it after one hour. When I click customize email, you guys are going to see my template, and I'm going to actually put this in the description so you can copy and paste it and edit it how you feel you need to. So this is what my recovery email template looks like i'm not sure what this looks like on a brand new store because i've changed this so many times or optimized it like i said so many times consistently over the past year but it's very simple um these things you don't want to mess with this at all because this is just your code for the automatic information that shopify is going to use to pull to generate the email um what you can change is anything else down below so this is mine specifically it's very simple and it just says First, the I actually edited the subject line, so it'll put in the bill-in first name. Um, so whatever, let's say his name, the person's name is Bob or one thing, you would just say Bob. What happened? That would be the the subject line of your email that come from your branded um your branded email, and then you go down and this only happens if someone does have an abandoned cart checkout and they had at least one item in their cart so this if you have free stuff that you have in your store like sign up for whatever then it won't get sent for that and goes down and says this is the body of the email out says hey um bob is his name i suppose it says, hey Bob, we noticed you were halfway through ordering but didn't end up completing it. So we reserved your card for 24 hours. Uh, these two BRs right here is just a break in the page for this code right here. If you add one, it'll just add a new line. If you add two, then it'll actually add a space in between these, these sentences right here. And then, so I had a space and it says, let us know if you need any help with anything. Thanks. And then if I scroll down, I don't want to reveal my brand. But if I scroll down after the beat, the breaks, it says scan regards, then two more breaks, and it says your brand name, customer support team, whatever. I'm actually gonna click on preview so up at the top. Let me see if I scroll up. Okay, so now we're in the preview of what the actual recovery email looks like, and I've edited out some stuff again with my store information, but this is what it looks like. The subject line, it just says, Bob, what happened? <laughs> Bob, what happened? Um, right here would be your brand name or logo, and the it just says, hi, Bob, we noticed you were halfway through ordering, but didn't end up completing it. So we reserved your card for 24 hours. Let us know if you need help with anything. Thanks, kind regards. And right here would be your brand name, customer support team. If you actually scroll down, scroll down the page, it would look like this, where the customer has the opportunity to return to the cart or visit a store. Right here would be your product images for whatever they had in their cart and product name, product name times the quantity that they had. Um, hopefully this you know, hopefully this actually helped you guys and I'll throw up the other screenshot on the screen and leave it for the remainder of the video so you guys can, you know, copy it down if you wanted to because I've decided I don't want to copy and paste it in the video description. And yeah, hopefully that helped. Talk to you guys later. Peace.